Hi everyone, welcome to Behind the Wheel Racing. My name is Jake. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a great couple races for y'all. Uh, super happy with the progress that I've made this week. We're at Road Atlanta in the grade four cars. We got five laps. I got three races for you in this video. Uh, we are in the Jaguar F-Type grade four car and I was really gentle with this car. Uh, Another one that is new to me. I had never driven the uh, Great Ford Jaguar before, and I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it handled pretty well, and I was able to just catch a groove in it. So here we go, this first race. Uh, we've got some good ones for you. This first race, we start back in 14th, and, uh, you know, come along this little super here. We're going to let them go by. We've still got five laps to go. No reason to play it too aggressive quite yet. Um, we're going to let some other people make some mistakes here. We're going to jaunt into 13th. We're going to jaunt into 12th as well after this guy serves this penalty. However, we are going to run into, well, this guy runs into us again. I'm coming into this corner straight. This last chicane was a bit tricky. I don't see that other driver there, and they turn in very late. Um, so we made contact there, and then that Nissan is going to just clean me up. So we're back into 14th after... Uh, a couple instances there, but they make some mistakes as well. I'm gonna jump into 12th there, and then the Nissan that sent us into a little slide is also going to go off course. So we're gonna jump right back into 11th, and then I'm hot on the tail of this McLaren. By the end of that first turn, we are going to, or not the first turn, that corner going into the long straight, uh, we are going to catch up to them, and we are gonna get a great exit out of that corner. Now this first or this first race here, I was kind of figuring things out a little bit as we jump into ninth place, getting that McLaren. But exit speeds on this course are super, super crucial. Uh, we're going to wrap up in ninth place here, but those exit speeds are really important because you've got super, super long straightaways, especially that back straight. And if you can't get that corner right then you're kind of toast and uh you know just ripe for the picking on that back straight and there's a couple other corners here that send you to some really crucial sections or long straights that you really need to get right um to keep pace and that's what i was able to do in this jag i was really able to catch a groove in it um and i was really digging it so we're gonna jump into the second race here we're starting up in seventh place much much better starting place and we are going to have some things happen pretty quickly here. Um, we're going to stay on the tail of this Aston Martin, and we're going to make our way through this first corner. Now, a lot of people were getting that corner wrong, especially that little curve that sticks out there. That uh, Twix-inspired Aston Martin is going to be a victim there. We're going to jump into sixth place. Now, these guys get into a little scrum right here. I'm staying close to them, not too close. I don't want to get myself involved in that scrum, so we're going to blow by that Porsche. We're going to blow by that Aston Martin. However, we are not going to uh, go alone from this Aston Martin quite yet. I'm not quite close enough to this Ferrari to catch a draft. Um, I'm probably about two tenths too far to catch a draft, but this Aston Martin is still on me. I see them right there. I'm going to play a wide line. They're going to go way inside. They're going to come in way too quickly and they are gonna make a mistake and they kind of clean up uh, sixth place there as well. So catch a good little break there. I keep it clean through that last chicane um, and we keep making our way up. Now I'm able to put down some consistent lap times in uh, the third and fourth laps. And then this fifth lap, I get past this Ferrari. I play a little aggressive there um, and I seal off that corner right there and I'm able to secure third place going into these twists and turns here which i think is a super fun part of the race but if you get knocked offline then you're in trouble you got dirty tires and it's going to be hard to recover because you got a long straight coming up right after that section so we are able to jump up into third place we love seeing a podium and i get a clean race star for this one so super happy to see that keeping the standard of the s sportsmanship rating i'm still at the b driver rating um but i see that little you know progress bar moving up quickly and i'm really happy with that so we've got some momentum going into this last race and this one i'm starting up in fourth place i'm really stoked to see this um, my qualifying time got a little bit better i'm in the low to mid buck 26 range for my qualifying time so pretty decent um you know nothing nothing wicked special but 
I'm moving my way up the grid. And we are going to do the same thing here. We're going to keep it consistent. We're going to keep it nice and clean. This Ferrari and the Jag get into it on in this little corner right here. The Ferrari taps it back to the Jag, sends them offline, and we are able to go right by them. So I'm going to stay on this Ferrari. And we're on lap one here still. So coming into this corner onto that long back straight, they make a sloppy exit. And I believe this Ferrari's got a bit higher top speed on it than the Jaguar does. So I'm not able to get by them through this straight. I'm kind of just riding them side by side. Um, I don't have a, a big draft to, you know, keep momentum on up into this chicane. So I just play it nice and safe here. I'm going to let them go by and the driver back in fourth place is pretty quick. So I don't want to make any mistakes here. So I'm just going to let him go and he's going to make a mistake on to this long first straight. So I'm going to catch up. I'm going to keep up that is and this Ferrari is going to make a mistake again. They were riding really sloppy in some corners. So I was kind of banking on them making a mistake but keeping very close and just making sure I was there to capitalize on said mistake and I did and I kept it super consistent between uh, then and the last lap of this race. I was able to snag the fastest lap of the race on that last lap there so super happy to see that especially moving my way up in these lobbies getting a little bit better lobbies each week. Um, so I'm super excited this was a great week of racing um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you guys for joining me as always like subscribe comment let me know what y'all think i love seeing those stars up there fastest lap and clean race we love it uh thank you again for joining me and we will see you next time